hello guys and welcome to a new brand video into this tutorial i'm going to show you how to fix the customizer not working uh, error on your website on wordpress so the first thing that you will need to do now is to open your web browser either it was google chrome S safari opera microsoft edge any web browser will do the work after that you will need just to go to uh, the searching bar and type wordpress and basically after you go to the wordpress and click on the wordpress.com you click on the first link now we will need to create an account so we can access the wordpress.com so basically we need just to click on get started and here we will need to add our email address you add your username and then you choose password otherwise you can just log in with using your google account or apple account and basically after you create an account you will need just to verify the account by clicking on a link that will be sent to your mailbox uh, by the wordpress organization or website so basically after you create an account and verify it we would need to log into this account so we can start uh, using our wordpress website or platform so basically you will need just to use the email that you have just created the account with you click on continue then you go to the password you enter the password and finally you will need now just to follow these simple steps so now after that you log in to your wordpress dashboard you will need just to try some methods to uh, fix this error so the first thing make sure to uh go to the more tools of your web browser and clear the browsing data of this website also you can try to use this plugin so you can clear the cache of your uh, website so it can be a problem and just use this uh, wp optimize uh, plugin and then clear with it the cache of your website and it will help uh, resolve the problem so now you will need just to uh, go again to the plugins and deactivate all the plugins also the teams make sure that you deactivate the teams and see if the problem or the customizer is uh, fixed or not so after it is fixed you will need just to activate everything one by one so you can see where is the problem exactly and then if there is a mistake uh, a problem or an error a cause of a theme just changes or delete it and if it is a problem with a plugin just delete the plugin that is causing the problem and then you will be able to fix the problem so basically this is how you can do it thank you for watching and see you next time